So I want to start this video off asking you a question. Could you or have you moved away from page builders like Elemental, Bricks, Oxygen and so on over to Gutenberg based tools, whether you're using Gutenberg as it is, using it alongside a theme like Bloxy or Cadence, or you're using plugins to expand what Blocks can do. Let me know in the comments section the tools you use, have you transitioned away, the reasons why you did or didn't, because I would love to know your thought process and how you've handled this situation in the comments. So first of all, page builders do have, whether we like it or not, the inherent issue that they do add bloat. No matter how good or how well optimized they are, if you're using a page builder like Elementor, Brizzy, Divi, anything like that, they do add bloat, varying degrees, and they are doing their best to reduce the amount of overheads that they add. However, that will always be a situation because they are generally quite heavy tools. So that's one of the key reasons. But the other key reason I think a lot of people are transitioning away from the likes of page builders is the reliance factor. We know that Gutenberg, whether we like it or not, is the future of WordPress. Now they're bringing in full site editing, that's adding another dimension. And with the third rollout where they add even more functionality, we know that WordPress is moving away from what we're used to. So this also opens up a set of really great tools that you may or may not have actually tested out for yourself. We've got block based tools that allow us to create various different levels of designs. And we also have themes now that either embrace or work their own way of dealing with full site editing tools like generate press. For me, Moving away is more a case of I want to make sure that I don't have a reliance upon page builders for everything. However, that doesn't stop me from using page builders if the project requires it. Now, you may be thinking, well, I couldn't actually move over to something like a block building tool or a theme because the tools that I use allow me to create far more complex websites, listing websites, real estate websites, those kinds of things. We're using a lot of dynamic data, conditional logic, all those things. Well, you may want to take a look at some of the tools that are actually coming out for Gutenberg, because I think you may be surprised how far you can go with that and still get most of that, if not all of that done. For example, if we take a look at a tool like Quickly, that has not only Advanced Custom Fields Pro integrated into it and a license included in it, it really is built around making dynamic data and dynamic content an integral part of that whole platform. Plus the fact that Quickly is a theme and a builder, a block builder, all in one. Much the same as we've seen in tools like Bricks Builder and maybe even Oxygen to a certain extent, where the theme is handled, taking the reliance away from that and giving us the tools. However, the difference is this is less page builder and more block based. So you are getting the benefit of having that future proof that you have when you're working with Gutenberg and WordPress. The same thing goes if you're talking about Jet Engine from Crockerblock. Jet Engine was moved over to being a Gutenberg and an Elemental based tool that gives you all of the same options, the query builder, the loop builder, all the dynamic functionality that you have inside Elemental using Crocoblox Jet Engine, you pretty much now have using Gutenberg. Plus you also have Jet Smart Filters and Jet Search. So if you want that and you're used to working with it inside Elemental, you can use it in exactly the same way inside Gutenberg now. So you have all those tools and flexibility without the reliance upon Elemental. And I think Crocoblock will definitely be taking a look at moving some more of their tools over away from that Elemental based reliance. So if you want that dynamic content, you are going to have some great options available to you. However, if you don't want to go down the route of having such complex sites, you're creating something a lot simpler, but you still want to tie in advanced custom fields, pods, jet engine, those kinds of tools, you can still do that with other block based tools. For example, if you take a look at Generate Blocks is 1.5 that's coming out very, very soon. It's currently in release candidate, so we shouldn't have long to wait. And I put a link in the description to the video I released recently on that. That's now going to have a built in loop builder that enhances how you can create design and layout. It's got a query builder inside it. It's got the ability then to design every aspect of your loop using generate blocks alongside generate press or any other theme that you want to use. So we have that integrated in. And when you consider that Elemental Pro still does not have a loop builder, 
you have to rely upon third party tools, that opens up more options for you if you are moving away from a tool like Elementor and you do cut down on the overheads and generate blocks and generate press work very, very well together. However, if you have simpler projects and you want to cut down on your overhead of tools that you're using, you may want to take a look at a theme like Bloxy Pro because that has the ability to create custom post types automatically have those inserted into the customizer as part of WordPress. And alongside that, you can integrate dynamic content into it. You can employ filtering, all those kinds of tools. It's a great platform for sites that if you want to create a listing site, like a real estate site or a car sales site that doesn't require lots of complex and comprehensive extra features, you could really get away with using a tool like Bloxy Pro and advanced custom fields and custom post type UI you can get an awful lot done with that setup. And not just that, you can use it with Jet Engine, you can use it with Metabox. There's a lot of options out there. Now, the next question you're gonna to need to ask yourself is, should you move away from page builders over to something like Gutenberg? Well, only you can answer that. But my one thing that I would say at this point is, don't limit yourself to just one tool or one set of tools. It's much better to have an understanding, even if it's just a basic understanding of what's available and how you could use it. Because when you look at a project, you may find that the project would be better with this tool set over what you're currently using, which may be Elemental Pro or maybe something like that, you know, another set of tools. Don't limit yourself to one simple stack. The but third and final question is, would I move over to Gutenberg away from page builders? Well, the simple answer is I pretty much already have in a lot of use cases. For my own sites, I'm actually using Bloxy Pro alongside some other tools. For client projects, I've started using Generate Press and Generate Blocks. Now, if I was going to go for a more comprehensive tool set, if I couldn't do it with what I currently used to, then I would take a look at still working with page builders. And this kind of goes back to my previous point. Don't limit yourself to just one tech stack. Know what you can do, and that way you can be a more effective designer, whether that's for yourself or projects you want to work on for fun, or if you do this in a commercial basis. But that's basically what I wanted to ask in this video. Would you move away from it? If you have, let me know in the comment section. If you haven't, still let me know in the comment section. I'd also love to know what tools you're using. It gives me an idea of what you actually use on a day-to-day -day basis. But as always, all applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tetson. Until next time, take care.